knowledge comes in different forms. There's the kind of knowledge we can write down and measure and test. And then there's the kind that lives only in the first person, in the me, in the subjective point of view. And that second kind, that inner experience, isn't something we can share or translate fully, even with the best science. So this returns us to the question, can you ever truly know what it's like to be another person? Even when we're talking about someone we know intimately, we're up against a wall because experience is totally private. And maybe this is not just a philosophical or scientific challenge. Maybe this is a human challenge because no matter how we try, there is a part of every person, every mind that is forever out of reach. So let's zoom out for a minute to make clear how much difference there is between everyone's experience in the world. So let me start with just a simple personal example. Many years ago during my postdoctoral fellowship, I dated a young woman. And even though she was often quite sad inside, she had a very stunning Hollywood smile that she would paste on and it would light up the room every time she did. So one day we went to a restaurant together and we had to get to the back but it was packed. So we had to wind our way through a crowded maze of tables to get to the back. And the only way we could squeeze through was with me scooching in right behind her. And because I was taller than she was, I could see over her head as we wound our way through. So she was the front guard and I was mostly hidden behind her. And what I saw was like a VR experience. Suddenly I was seeing the world through a different set of eyes because she had turned on her smile. And as we wound through the crowd, everyone looked up at her and smiled back and moved their chairs out of the way. It's not that people weren't normally perfectly nice to me alone as well, but there was a noticeable difference here. It was like I was wearing the costume of someone else and I saw the world through her eyes and how people looked at her and reacted to her. 